Hey, I've gotten some requests for the song Goodness of God, especially about that high chorus and bridge, how to hit those notes without pushing and straining and feeling like you have to hold on for dear life. So I wanna give you some tips for that. I'm gonna go through this in the original key of A flat, but as always, just apply these same techniques to whatever key you're singing in. The verse is pretty simple in terms of range, not super low or super high. A couple things though, you wanna make sure that you're engaging your chest voice in these lower notes. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. You wanna feel that down here. You want that resonance in your chest, in your mouth. Head voice is just gonna bottom out and sound really weak. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands, right? Head voice is super inefficient in the lower range. So make sure you're getting some of that depth. We don't want it to be super loud to start off the song, but we want that depth. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands. And I want you to embrace a sort of casual, imperfect approach to these verses. What I love about them is that they're written just like a prayer. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days have been held in your hands. And we've got to keep that casual speech-like tone just as if we were speaking it out, which means not over-enunciating, not too much vibrato. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me all my days, right? No, there's gotta be this speech-like natural ebb and flow in the phrases. We want some crescendos and decrescendos, right? Where it gets a little bit louder, then a little bit softer, and drops off. That's what our speaking sounds like. And that's what we want for our singing too, especially in a verse like this. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. Notice how I get a little bit louder and I just let it drop off. All my days, I've been held in your hands, right? It's not, I've been held in your hands. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up, right? I ebb and flow constantly throughout these phrases. I'm gonna do the same thing in verse two, but just with a little bit more juice. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest night. You are close like no other. Okay, chorus. Step one here is you've got to find your mix, meaning we need to find that resonant space between chest voice and head voice that sounds powerful and strong, but it's not just chest voice pushed up. That's the biggest thing I hear from singers in this song is just, and all my life you have been faithful, and all my life, right? And your goodness is running. It just gets worse the higher we get. It's not good. That's going to damage your voice if you keep singing like that. This chorus sits right on the female transition spot, that place where the voice naturally transitions into head voice. And so instead of fighting that transition by pushing up chest, and all my life you have been faithful, right? or giving into that transition by just flipping into head. And all my life you have been faithful, and all my life. Instead, we've got to lift the weight off of the throat, out of chest voice by engaging pharyngeal resonance, that nasally ugly cry sound that you've most likely heard me do before because this is like the number one thing that will help you find a contemporary mixed voice sound. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. That's my mixed voice. So we're gonna find this on an exercise. You can feel free to use any pharyngeal uh, mixed voice exercise that works well for you. Here, I'm gonna use a nasally wah, 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 because I personally really like this one for finding my mix. So what we're gonna do is just replace the lyrics with the exercise and sing this chorus out. Wow, 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 wow,
wow, wow, wow, wow, wow, wow, wow, wow, wow. Now we're going to put the lyrics in in a sec, but I want to take that further and show you a more advanced mixed voice technique that works really well for this song in particular. What we want to do is still keep that pharyngeal mix in play, but we're going to take it further by lowering the larynx slightly. Okay. I talk a lot about this in my Master Your Voice chorus, this concept of high versus low larynx. It's the difference between wah, 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 higher larynx and boo, 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 lower larynx. Same pitches, different tonal qualities. In a song, it's the difference between don't my life, you have been faithful and don't my life, you have been faithful. Now, neither of those is right or wrong. They're both a mix. They're both valid choices for using in a song. What I might do is use that higher larynx tone for uh, first chorus when I want the tone to be a little bit lighter and brighter. Don't my life, you have been faithful. And then in the next chorus, because the song has built a lot more by that point, um, a dopier lowered larynx song gives me a lot more depth, a lot more of that sound of my chest voice, but without pushing and straining. And all my life you have been faithful, and all my life you have been so, so good. So we're going to sing that chorus one more time, and what I want you to find is this bo bo bo. okay? The larynx is literally sitting lower in the throat, and it should sound really dopey like this. Bo 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 bo. okay? That's actually the best way to lower the larynx is by making a sound that does it naturally. You can't actually force it down in your throat any other way, blah, 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 right? We can't just push it down. Um, so I find it's really helpful for, for most singers to find it in your speaking voice first and then bring it into the song. So you might need to come back to this place in the video later or pause it now and just practice this. Just say, buh, 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 right? We don't want it to sound like, Ba, 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 ba. It's bo, like the word book. Bo, 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 And then sing the chorus like that. Bo, 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 bo. I know it sounds strange, it feels strange, but this seriously works. Okay, now as we put the lyrics back in, the biggest thing we're gonna do is keep our mouth narrow, ah, and our jaw dropped, okay? More than you think you need. Most people sing the song with such a small, wide mouth shape and it causes so much tension. All my life you have been so, so good, so, so tense. Don't do that, keep your mouth narrow. Okay, so I'm gonna sing through this whole chorus um, but first, just quickly, there are a few little tricks I want to show you that have helped me to hit these notes more easily. Instead of going, and all my life, and all my life, reaching up there, I want you to use the D to launch into that word all. And all my life, and all my life. Okay, that works super well. Help you launch into that word. And then for the word so, you've got to make sure you round your mouth, okay? Don't let it go wide, otherwise you'll never get to that top note without straining. Um, and oh my life, you have been so, even on that, that low one, set yourself up for success on the high one. So, so, oh, so, so. And for the word good, I want you to narrow your mouth, drop your jaw, most people go good and it doesn't work, okay? Think deeper, try to pronounce it more like that uh, um, like that low larynx buh exercise we were doing. Buh, 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 go, 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 good. So, so good. With every, instead of reaching for that, with every, with every, use the TH to launch into the word. With every breath, just make sure it's not too spitty, but Honestly, this works a lot better. With every breath that I am able, not with every, with every, with every breath. Okay, so let's sing this. I recommend that you use uh, one of the exercises from before to practice with. If you're newer to the mixed voice concept, the super nasally wah, wah, wah is probably gonna work better for you, but 
You can also try the low larynx buh. That's the one I'm gonna use. We're just gonna go back and forth, exercise to lyric, keeping in mind those few tricks that I showed you. Buh, 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 buh. And all my life you have been faithful. Buh, 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 buh. And all my life you have been so, so good. Buh, 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 buh. With every breath that I am able. Buh, 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 buh. Oh, bo 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 oh I will sing of the goodness of God. Okay, now the bridge. I'll show you a few more tricks and then we'll do the same thing here. For the word your, you're gonna round your mouth like we did on the so. And don't pronounce that R, it closes the mouth too much and messes things up when we go, your, your goodness, right? Sets that whole bridge up to fail. Okay, so go yo, 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 yo. Just keep that open. Goodness is we're uh, not really pronouncing the D much um, at all. I want you to imagine the words are goodnesses instead of goodness is. It's goodnesses. Using that S to launch into that top uh, note. We used this trick in the chorus a couple times here. It's an S, it's not even a hard consonant that gives a lot of grip. So it's not that it does something drastically different for your voice, but more importantly, it does something for your brain, which controls so much about your voice. Um, as the melody is moving up here, we need something to grab a hold of at the beginning of that vowel. And so the S does the trick, okay? Again, just as a reminder, it's not your goodness is reaching up for that. It's your goodness is, your goodness is running after. For that running after, I find it helps to not pronounce the uh, ing. Instead, think of an N at the beginning of the word after. It helps give energy and stability to that word. Your goodness is running after, is running after. Not running after, is running after. The word it's, I know I'm kind of flying through these here, but you can come back to all this later. The word it's, there's not too much of a trick here. There's no consonant to help us. So you've just got to be a bit edgy and aggressive. Don't try to be too perfect. Just throw it away. It's running after me. It's running after me. And then me, don't sing it like me. Sing it very open. May, drop your jaw. That's going to help you keep the depth in your voice and help you hold out that note without it being super tense. Um, it's running after me. It's running after me. That next long stretch, just keep your mouth shape very narrow and consistent. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you not life laid down, I'm surrendered now. Right? It's life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you. And then when you get here, this one's my favorite. Okay, we're gonna use a W to launch into the word everything. Okay, this works super well. So instead of reaching for I give you everything, we're gonna go. Uh, I give you everything, everything, well, well, everything. I give you everything. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. I know that's a lot of things. I encourage you to go back through this, pause the video, try things out one by one to really apply this to your voice. Um, now we're going to put this exercise in just to show you something different. I'll use the wah this time, but you can feel free to use the buh if you prefer. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Surrender now, I give you everything. If we 
hopefully that helps you hit some of those higher notes. Make sure to warm up your voice before you practice this kind of thing. Really, really, really important. And I love giving you guys these kinds of song tips, but just remember these little tutorials don't take the place of consistent, diligent time spent working out your voice and actually building these coordinations into the foundations of your voice, the pharyngeal mix, the low larynx technique, these things take time to develop and they require very specific exercises apart from just working on them in a song context. So if you're not already going through my Discover Your Voice or Master Your Voice course, I highly recommend you start. If you have any questions about any of the courses or online training material or about the techniques I used in the song, feel free to post below. Love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.